Hey guys, um, today I want to not only give you a tour of my own bus, but I want to uh, propose a question. So, I know what I like about my bus. What do you like about yours? What do you not like about yours? What would you like to change on yours? Essentially what I want to do is share the videos that you make and to get a better understanding of what everybody likes, what everybody doesn't like and see all the differences out there and help people make up their minds whether they've just bought a bus, whether they're intending to change buses. So we're going to kick it off with my bus. It's a 1969 early bay window. It was made in the German factory, shipped over to the US market where it spent most of its time in Colorado. Um, in about 2008 it got shipped back to the UK um, and I bought it uh, about three, four years ago now. So one of the top things I like about my bus is the storage. Um, when we bought it we knew we were going to go on a big trip and travel up to six months living in the bus, which we ended up doing. Um, so storage was a premium. Uh, what we have here is actually a late 78 Westphalia Berlin interior shoehorned into an early 69 bay. What that means is you get a massive amount of storage space here. The rear cupboard that opens here with your little mirror is actually sitting over the original wheel well. So you actually get a full length cupboard. We keep the spare now on the roof. Uh, the bed, um, three quarter width bed, when it pulls out it actually goes to the same level as the cupboard so you don't get restricted on leg space at all. So it's the original bed, so it, therefore it closes properly. It's so effortless. The other thing that we really love about the camper that came with it again is our compressor fridge. Uh, we've got a leisure battery system that runs off um, a big 120 amp hour leisure battery through uh, Duratec uh, voltage sensing relay that charges up whilst we're driving. We've also got a solar panel on the roof and we also have the facility to have an electrical hookup. The solar panel keeps our compressor fridge running 24-7, so even not on a slightly overcast day, cold beer, awesome. One of the top other things that we love about our camper is this that we picked up in uh, California. Basically Coca-Cola, wooden box, um, it is just so handy just to chuck random crap in. So at the moment we've got Van Life Essentials, baby wipes, uh, a bit of water, but sometimes chucking the cameras, things that you don't know quite where to put where, that is fantastic. Um, we didn't ever use a table, we've never used a table when we've been camping, we're quite happy to have it on our laps or eat on the go. But if we do want to face each other, what we've got is uh, the Rusty Lee, um, I recovered it to match the final, um, just an extra buddy seat, it's great if we have company. We've also got a bus box so we can actually make up full seats facing each other if we need to. Something that was super important to us was not only to be able to stand up, uh, but also to be able to cook in the van. So, under here we have our hob, currently full of dirty plates because we haven't washed up from last camping trip, van life awesome, um, but we've got a double hob burner and a sink. Uh, the sink is actually um, just an outlet, we never use it, it's only if we're washing our teeth when it's raining outside or whether we want to get rid of some pasta water, but generally speaking we prepare all our food chopping board and whatever on the unit and we move it to one side and then we cook on there. Another thing, little thing that we love, these little hooks if you can see them to keep our cups up here and our kettle. One of my most favourite things about the bus is the engine. So it originally came with a 1641 when we bought it. That was of unknown mileage and unfortunately it died when we were in the US. So a week before Christmas, when it was snowing, and we had two weeks left on our visa, we managed to get one shipped up from California. It's now a 2110 or 2110cc. It's pushing just over 100 brake horsepower. Uh, it has big valve heads, um, SCAT C35 cam, I believe, twin Del Auto 40s, um, and bags full of torque. It really goes up hills. I no longer struggle, I can actually accelerate up hills. Um, so it's a lot of fun. It's not a screamer, but it's a really good cruising engine, which is perfect for what we do, um, cruising at long distance. So there you go guys, that's my bus and that's why I like it. What do you like about yours? I'm dying to know.